Hello from Winter Wonderland here in Germany. As promised in the last video, I'm out here exploring the snowy landscapes because last week we had lots of snow in Germany, at least in parts. So I'm here in the Grosse Aber region on top of the Grosse Aber, which I already explored a few weeks ago. So if you have seen my best of 2018 video, the last photo was taken up here. But back then I had a problem because I didn't have snowshoes and as soon as I got to the top, it was really hard to walk around, so I couldn't explore much of the areas here. So this time I brought snowshoes, so I just purchased them the first time out using snowshoes. And I have to say it's really liberating. You can walk around here in the deep snow and I can get to all the good yeah, photo spots. And yeah, I've already found a nice spot and yeah, currently, or not currently, I think the whole day there will be no light. So it's a thick cloud cover, but this doesn't bother me because it makes everything so simplistic. So I can really take some minimal shots where I just have those ice trees. I'm looking for structures in the foreground and I don't need a colorful sky for this. So I can photograph the whole day. The light won't change much and can really explore this beautiful landscape. And yeah, let me quickly show you the photo I'm taking here. So I have some little eye structures here on this rock in the foreground and I'm sure you don't see it on the GoPro but you later see in the photo and in the background this lonely tree and it looks very nice so I went for a vertical shot but I have a problem and that is focusing so there are little structures and very fine details in the snow but it's hard to focus on it using live view or the viewfinder and especially in the foreground this is hard so what I'm doing I have those poles which I'm used for hiking, but I can also use them to focus. So I'm just holding it in front of the camera, extending it like one meter or one and a half meters. And then I focus on the top of the pole. And yeah, this gives me good sharpness exactly where I want it. And yeah, for the background, it's easy. There are some structures in the tree, so I can easily focus. But yeah, I think now I have to take the photo. It's getting really windy and cold. Afterwards, I have to walk around a bit more and hopefully find some more photo spots. So see you at the next spot, hopefully. And yeah, now I take the photo. So I'm here at photo spot number two and if you look around I'm in the middle of those snow covered ice trees and this is exactly what I was looking for. Look at those trees here. All the frost, all the ice. It looks fantastic and yeah, this is going to make a nice photo. And yeah, I've already set up again. So I'm using a vertical crop again. So having this tree here in the foreground then another tree in the background and this little snowy mound which adds a nice accent to this photo so I don't have just a flat um, snow covered ground but I have this little mountain there and it's great uh, I have to say the best purchase of the year those snowshoes I mean they cost me like hundred dollars but I can walk around here everywhere and without them I would be like knee deep in the snow so it's really good it's not always new camera gear you need to buy sometimes look just for other stuff which enables you to get to the photo location. So cameras can do so much these days and it doesn't matter which camera you use, but it's more like what other equipment you might need to get where you want or where you have to be. And I have to say snowshoes are just great in winter, <laughs> which is logic, but I didn't know that I could walk around like this. So just at the top. Okay, so maybe I talk you through the shot a bit more show you quickly if you can see it on the back of the camera the photo i'm trying to take so as usual i'm doing f 9.5 and i'm doing focus stacking so the main focus is on this tree then i have another focus on the background just to make sure i have everything and then with the technique using the pole i have another focus right at the foreground and this should give me enough sharpness and yeah just great here. Also, I have to be a bit careful. There's a little bit wind in the background. So keeping the shutter speeds low 
So maybe I do a high ISO shot in addition to the normal photos just to make sure I have everything crispy sharp. And yeah, then this should be photo number two. And yeah, I'll now move on and see what else I can find. I'm just here for one hour and have five more hours. So it's crazy how beautiful this is. So I've come again to a sheltered area here on the other side of the mountain because over there where I just was, there's so much wind and I couldn't take any photos. It was maybe five degrees colder because of the wind. And yeah, it was no pleasure to walk there. So I came back here. And what I found is here, this little tree completely frosted with a backdrop of those frosted rocks, which I thought looked quite nice. So. I'm trying a little more of an abstract photo here. So having this tree against the rocky background, surely you don't see it on the back of the camera. So I'll show you the finished photo soon. But yeah, I think this looks quite nice and it's a nice contrast. I'm not sure how this will look in big later, but I think it's a good find. And yeah, now I'm gonna grab something to eat and yeah, hopefully I can warm up the batteries a bit because it's already the second battery of my GoPro and they were completely full before and I filmed maybe 20 minutes so hope to get them warmed up a bit so I can film a little bit more in the afternoon otherwise I think I got already three or four nice photos so yeah let's see but first I have to get down and eat something Can you hear this? Nothing. Isn't this great? I'm here in the forest beneath the Große Aber mountain where I was this morning and yeah, I've been walking around a bit and first I thought it was a mistake coming here in terms of photography because um, the atmosphere which I had up on the Große Aber with all the mist and clouds, it isn't here. So here I have just many, many trees and it was really hard to find something which I could photograph. So the usual problem with woodland, bringing order to the chaos or finding order in the chaos. But yeah, now I finally found something which looks very nice. So I have this tree with this branches covered in snow and really iced. And the foreground also has some little yeah, mounds and it looks quite nice. I think I'm going for a, for a panoramic photo here and really quite simple. Typical workflow F 9.5, focus to the background, focus to the foreground and yeah, also maybe some photos at ISO 400 just to make sure I have no moving branches but currently it's quite still here so really beautiful and yeah now I really like the area here so it was a good decision coming here although I could have maybe taken more photos up on the arbor but it's so beautiful so peaceful down here and yeah. I really enjoyed this day out and yeah, hopefully the photos also turned out nice. So I have showed you already a few, I think. And now I'm going to show you this one if it turns out good. And yeah, I think I'm going to head back to the car now because all my water is frozen. So I have no more to drink. And it's like, I think only two or three kilometers, so not too far. And then I'm going to drive home. So I hope you like this winterly landscapes. And yeah, next I'm not sure how long the snow will stay. Maybe I can get out one more time, but otherwise there's a big trip coming up in a few weeks. And yeah, I'm not telling you yet where I'm going, but 
there are gonna be some nice vlogs, travel vlogs again. So stay tuned and see you soon.